Harris went to Howard University, the brightest beacon among America's historically black colleges and universities. There, she joined Alpha Kappa Alpha. That was me last week paying tribute to Vice President Harris, highlighting her beloved alma mater and sorority. I even went so far as to skiwi, something I soon learned can only be done by members of the sorority. Some of the most famous and powerful black women in the country are AKAs. Congresswoman Frederica Wilson, Reverend Leah Daughtry, Sonny Hostin of The View, and Sophia Nelson, who you saw at the top of the hour, are among those who schooled me on my offense. I apologized immediately. I went to Carleton, small liberal arts, liberal arts college in Minnesota. We don't have Greek life on campus. So what did I know? A bunch of nothing, obviously. Joining me now is the international president and CEO of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Dr. Glenda Glover. She is also the president of her alma mater, Tennessee State University. Dr. Glover, thank you so much for coming to the Sunday show. Good morning, and thank you for inviting me. So I wanted to use the, the little controversy I got into by doing something I wasn't supposed to do, which is something that I learned is very sacred um, and very beloved by AKAs. And I wanted to use it as an opportunity to talk on a larger scale about Alpha Kappa Alpha uh, and where it fits in the, the dynamic within the, the African-American community and why it is so important to the African-American community. So, uh, Madam President, Dr. Glover, Alpha Kappa Alpha, brief thumbnail of its history. Well, let me say I'm always grateful to share with others the important role that Alpha Kappa Alpha, as well as other members of the Divine Nine, they play in our communities. And, and, and Alpha Kappa Alpha is an international service organization that was started in 1990 on Howard University's campus. It's the oldest Greek led organization for college educated women, African American women with over 300 members. Now, having said that, we have so many service projects that, uh, that we participate in. We have the, the Got the Vote movement, um, the breast cancer uh, mobile machine that we take around the country, giving mammograms to individuals who cannot afford them. We have an HBCU initiative. We've already uh, contributed over $10 million to HBCUs, both in endowments as well as scholarships for students. So the, the outreach to the community is just outstanding. Alpha mm -hmm. Kappa Alpha, as well as the other members of Divine Nine. Right, and the, the power of Alpha Kappa Alpha and the Divine Nine ha was shown, or actually the nation got to see it when it came to the 2020 election and having now Vice President Kamala Harris uh, uh, on the ticket. How important was it to AKAs that one of their own um, was on a ticket and then ascended, played a part in her ascension to being a heartbeat away from the presidency? It was absolutely important because it spoke to two things. The significance of black women, where we are today in America, the role that HBCUs have had in development of African-American talent and leadership in the country. And for her, for, for Vice President Kamala Harris to have attended Howard University, premier HBCU, and to have risen to the, to the status now of Vice President of the United States speaks volumes for her character, her, her professionalism, but also for HBCUs. It was a very special moment, a full circle moment, that she was initiated at Howard University Alpha Kappa Alpha and now the leadership skills that she received in AKA in, at Howard University uh, has just shown what HBCUs mean to the country, the caliber mm -hmm. of individuals that HBCUs produce. One, one last question for you, Dr. Glover. So we know which, which all did for Vice President Harris, but did Alpha Kappa Alpha, the Divine Nine, and also the black fraternities, did they play a role? Did you play a role in the Georgia Senate runoffs that led to the election of now Senator Reverend Warnock and Senator Ossoff? Yes, the Divine Nine and the which Alpha Kappa Alpha was a part, we made sure that there was voter engagement, whether it's voter mobilization, 
voter registration, voter education, that voter engagement was absolutely important. And for the November 3rd election, it was, we made sure we had the voter protection issues in place, the everything, the our whole network was in play. And then we repeated that for the Georgia election to make sure that vote, we get, had to get out to vote. And it was all depending on the vote being, uh, getting out to vote and that vote being protected so that once you voted, that vote was counted in the election. And with that, we'll leave it there. Dr. Glenda Glover, thank you so much for coming to the Sunday thank show. You. Thank you so much.